Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. I was not planning on posting a video this evening. I actually have a shiny new copy of the Path of the Wandering Monk expansion here, and I'm supposed to be putting the finishing touches to the edit for that review. But, some images have come out of the International Games Festival at Cannes, and I wanted to talk briefly about them. As I am sure you can probably guess, these are images of some of the contents from Against the Ogre Horde. A few weeks back, an image of the front and back of the Ogre Horde expansion leaked on eBay, where an advanced copy had been put up for sale. The lot sold quickly, but then Hasbro obviously stepped in because all traces of the listing vanished. It was too late though, the images were out, and I did a pretty detailed discussion about them here on the channel. I will post a link to that video in the description below for anybody who missed it and wants to see what I had to say. Fast forward to today, the 22nd of February 2024, and user Benjamin Chapon uploaded a series of images to the HeroQuest Hasbro Avalon Hill fan page on Facebook. Really good, clear photographs of a lot of the components on display at Cannes, and they validate what we have already seen and also shed some more light on it all. I am going to share just a couple of the photographs here. If you want to see them all, I do recommend heading over to the fan page group on Facebook. I'll link to that in the video description as well. And I am going to keep this video really, really brief. I have already talked a lot about Ogre Horde in my previous videos, and I am certain we will be getting even more information very soon. I don't want to keep retreading the same material over and over again. Really, I just wanted to make everyone aware that these images are out there in the wild. The hype is very much real. The first image shows a lot of what we are getting. We can see the box has a similar format to Frozen Horror, with a cutout section on the top vacuum tray, so you can see the mighty Ogre Lord beneath. You can see most of the miniatures in this shot, and they all look great. You can also see some of the new map overlays, including the modernised version of the classic entrance tile, and a glimpse of the massive arena tile. I would like to point out that arena measures 8 by 9 squares, just a fraction too large to use as the arena in Prophecy of Telor. Darn. The images of the miniatures indicate we are in for a treat. The large ogres in particular look phenomenal. We also get a good look at some of the enemy cards. The ogre cards indicate we are not getting the variable body point system that was in the original Ogre Horde expansion, which doesn't surprise me, but we do still get our little ogre warriors, a champion, a commander or chieftain, and a lord. The close-up photograph of the druids is interesting. We knew they were little folk, and the obvious conclusion was halflings. That does seem to be the case. However, they do appear a little stockier than our warlock, so maybe they're gnomes? Regardless, they appear to have the same stats as the mythic druid from the original HasLab crowdfunding campaign. Attack 1, Defend 2, Body 6, Mind 4, starts with a dagger, can't wear metal armour. I guess the wolf is going to be their shapeshifted form, but perhaps we may also get a card to use the wolf as a companion instead. Oh, and rather than converting the Chaos Spell tokens from the original Ogre Horde expansion into Dread Spell cards that match the other Dread Spells we already have, we seem to be getting a brand new deck of spell cards that includes duplicates. I assume it will be 5 Mind Locks, 5 Dominates, and 5 Mind Blasts, as per the original expansion. Honestly, there's more I could say, but I think I will leave it there. I've got other videos to finish, and there will be plenty of time to talk more about the Ogre Horde over the coming weeks. Do check out all the images for yourself over on Facebook, and maybe join the group. And of course, share your thoughts in the comments below, because that is it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really liked the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.